Hello, everybody. All right, so I had a student turn in a, a coding project, uh, the distance drive challenge, and it was the wrong format. It wasn't what I was looking for, and I was thinking to myself, self, why did the student do it this way? Well, probably because I didn't. I just said look at the tutorials, uh, hoping that you'd get it from that way, kind of wanting you guys to dig deeper and uh, see how things are done. But I'm going to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to make a video. This video today is how to save your work and turn it into me so that you can get a good grade and exactly exactly what I'm looking for. And let's just clear up all the, the fuzzy gray lines here. So the first thing I'm going to do on my page here. Now, yes, I do have uh, a different looking computer screen than you guys have, but it works the same way. You open up Internet Explorer, you open up Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, whatever web browser that you have, because this is all web based. Right now, I'm using Safari um, uh, because it's the I'm, I'm using my Mac because it is the easiest way for me to record stuff and talk to you guys. There are other ways to do it, but I'm at home. I'm not at school. And <laughs> the funny thing is, we we thought we were going to go back to school on uh, that that Monday, and we were off on Friday. So I was thinking I'll collect all my stuff on Monday. Well, yeah. So my uh, work computer is still at the school, so I have to do this on my Mac. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Hopefully it doesn't hurt yours. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter into the search bar or into the address bar the website for this, and it's vr period vex, vex period com. Enter. Okay, vr.vex.com, and here you get to the screen. Okay, once again, if you uh, take your mouse, you can see the playground up here. I'm going to go ahead and just load a playground. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my robot to do something, just something simple that, that, come on, get back over here, that you could see what it's doing. Okay, so here we go. You come over here. All right, what are we going to do? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have him drive forward for 200 millimeters. And I want to move the robot pin down first. And we'll set the color to red. Red's easy to see. OK. I'd love to play with these over here, but we're just not there yet. And I don't want you to, to freak out. And let's see. Let me set my drive velocity to that's speed, by the way. Uh, 100% because I want this sucker to go fast. Okay. And then I will have it. Let's, let's have it turn, right? Turn to rotation. And I'm going to put in here 90 degrees. Okay. And make sure you don't put this over here because the I'm not sure how to use it yet, but it messed up my code when I tried to do it. Okay, very simple code here. I'll make sure that this is restarted. Then I'll come up here, this button up here, to start. Okay, it did exactly what I was trying to make it do, except that's really boring. It needs to drive forward some more. So let's add uh, drive forward to this, and we'll go for a good distance here. Let's go for like 600 millimeters here. Let's reset that. Play, just so I can have something here. Okay. I'm working on this, and I, I, oh, I have to stop. Oh, my wife is calling me. My kids need my help. Something's going on. Um, don't expect you guys to have a wife or kid yet, but hey, if you do, you don't, you know how to stop here. I want to save this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. I want you to see what I did. So I take my mouse and I click right up here. And I'm going to vex code project. Oh, 
what what shall we call this? We will call this a saving project because that's really what this is about: learning how to save your work and turn it in. All right, I'm going to rename it. Okay, now that I've done that, I have saved it as a different name. I come over here, so follow the mouse, the giant mouse. Okay, tutorials here, activities here, but right here is file. If I click file, I can do this. Save to your device. Okay. Do you want to allow down downloads on vr.vex.com? Okay. If you get something like this, use your best discretion, but for the most part, yes, I do want to allow a download to vexvr.com. This is my download folder. Um, let's see here. Okay. You've saved it. Now what do you do? So in this case, I'm going to make that smaller. I'm going to open up my finder. And I'm going to find my downloads folder. And there it is right there. Now granted, this is on a Mac and I'm thinking I might need to switch to my PC and uh, show you this on the PC somehow. I'll work on that. But you need to know where your stuff saves to. Open the little file folder on the bottom of your start menu and uh, find it that way. But this is where it is right here. If I go back to the website, let's see here. This one's for me. And I make a new project here. I'm going to close this. I can see this is how I'm going to look at your work. I'm going to load from my device. I'm going to find my thing. I'm going to open it. And there it is. That's how I'm going to see your work. Okay, I'm going to somehow figure out how to show this to you on a PC. So that'll hopefully be the next part of the video. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, this is same computer, but actually running Windows now. I'm going to try to show you how to save this. Okay, now I know it's not your Chromebooks, but at least it's Windows based. So I'm going to click Vexcode project here. The, the name up here, I'm going to call it sample test or something silly. Okay, I'm going to rename it. Okay, there's my project. I'm going to come over here, activities, tutorials, and here in the corner is file. File. Now, let me zoom in here a little bit just by moving my phone. Couldn't find a good screen recorder at home here. So I'm going to save to my device. Okay. Well, I'm going to make, let's see, a new blocks project just to get rid of this one. Let me see if I can load from my device. All right, so this brings up the Windows File Explorer and downloads is here and there I see it because it automatically puts it in downloads so that's where I would go if I were you look for uh, your downloads folder sample device you can open that and then there it is and that's how I'll be able to look see your work and try to get it graded for you all right guys now that you have saved that file it's probably in your downloads folder. Look for it, find it. You have a file on there somewhere. Take that file and email it to me. That's how you submit your work.